Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through this door instead and go back to the main room because as you've noticed there's two treasure chests here and since we have the ball and chain I think you know what we can do with it. Like for example, oh, we can hit pillars with it. No! <laughs> we can destroy suits of armor with it. And that may or may not reveal prizes underneath it. Like that. Well, it's actually behind it, but still. Woohoo! Filling up my wallet even more. There, There's another thing that you can do with your cash. Uh-oh. Uh, it's, it's another money quest sort of dealio thingy. And we're gonna need even more rupees than what we already had to give to that preacher guy. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a lot, so... <laughs> so save your moolah, I will show you where to use that when the time comes. Uh, you Actually, I recommend that you don't buy much at shops at all if you can help it because of that fact. Because, you know, you have to save up the money and whatnot. Now, I know there's a pole somewhere around here. I don't remember where it is, but I know there's a pole somewhere around here. Maybe you have to completely de Oh, there we go. Completely destroy that suit of armor. And... Whoop. Ah, thank you for being low enough for me to be able to attack you. You're usually not low enough. And there's our 12th pole. Woohoo! Alright, we're good to go, I think. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else we can do in this room, so I'm going to cut over to the next backtracking location once I get my thumbs back. <laughs> you know what? I decided not to. I'm just going to go through this door and make a little progress here. The reason why is because I, I think I'll be going through the rooms anyway that, you know, that I think I'm going to have to backtrack through, and yeah. So, there we have another Freezard, and this one could cause you a little bit of issues, but I'm not going to go... Not gonna go through there just yet. You'll notice that there's a red mark on the map. In fact, there's quite a few red marks on the, on the map. Why do I keep pressing the wrong button whenever I want to check the map? Like, you'll notice that there's these right here. Those are cannonballs on the map, and we are going to need one. So, go through here... Pick up Ye Cannonball. You remember this spot, right? This was a spot where I couldn't go up there because that Freezard was in the way. Yeah. So now we want to bring the Cannonball over here. Well, not just yet. And now we can put it over here. <laughs> there we go. Through the door. It's sad we just can't take Cannonballs through doors, isn't it? <laughs> and yes, we do need a Cannonball through here, so... Don't take this step lightly. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I could just like throw it at... No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I just wanted to try that for the fun of it. But I know I can do this! Okay, do Whoa! <laughs> just made the cannonball go way, way back. I pulled it with me using the ball of ball and chain. Okay, you can shoot through. That's kind of a problem. But... Not entirely, because I can do that, and attack and kill you like so. I don't think you need to kill the little mini Freezards down there, so I'm just going to leave them be. I got another one here... I just got to find out its attack range. Uh oh. Uh, I was just a little bit inside it. It's too bad. Okay, this should be good. Oh, jeez! I think I was supposed to roll under it and get on this side. So my bad on that part. You know, like when you're down here, because he shoots in a in a straight line. He doesn't shoot downwards, which you're probably supposed to do is roll underneath it like so. Alright. Uh, I got some more stuff to blow apart here, along with... Oh, jeez. Ice keys, ice keys! Mm, cannon? I'm gonna have to shoot over there soon. You know what? I might as well... Push it in that direction. Uh, there we go. 
All right, let's take a look-see around here. Oh, oh, this floor here. I believe this leads to a heart piece. Break it apart with your ball and chain. Plop down. <laughs> Plop down. Open says me, and heart piece! Woohoo! Now that, this room here, this leads back to the main room. But if I went through that door at the main room, as you can tell, you can't get across here. <laughs> so that's why I didn't even bother to show you this room off from the other side. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to do anything from there anyway. It's just a way to show you that that room is there ahead of time, but since I knew it was there, it's like, who cares about showing it? <laughs> um, well, I got the cannonball, so I could shoot it, but I'm going to go through here first. Just see what's up. Oh, another one of you, huh? Once you break their spear, they're a sitting duck. <laughs> and you can just break their spear. Uh, I just said spear. Their spear, oops, by simply attacking it over and over. Now, what I did right there was I created a shortcut. So I can now hook shot, hook shot again. I said hook shot. I can claw shot up here. Yeah, this is the room that I had. A crap ton of trouble. <laughs> but what I want to do is get over to that treasure chest. And the way you do that is not actually by attempting to jump across. You want to make that chandelier swing so that you can now jump onto it like so once it swings towards you. And now you can access the treasure chest. And this contains a key. Just what I needed. Oh, geez. This room is the bane of my existence. <laughs> All right, lock, come on, lock on. Now oh, whatever. Just need to get it swinging again so I can backtrack. And there we go. Back through here. And like. I really don't feel like going back down for that cannonball, but I'm gonna have to shoot it off anyway eventually, right? <laughs> I might as well. <sighs> so, uh, how's it going? It's nice weather. It's a delightful 20 below zero. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to walk back up here when you're holding something because it's a little bit slower and you can't roll and stuff like that. You get the idea. So, climb up on here, plop it in, set a bomb in there, watch it open that door over there. Wait, what? I thought... I thought that opens the door and... Hmm. I... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'm not able to do this right now. I could have swore that was... Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just going to plop it there for now and go through that locked door over here. Because clearly I forgot something. <laughs> oh, this is back in the main room. I got a chandelier swinging part here. Oh. Thought I had the ball and chain out, my bad. I mean, I thought I had the ball and chain on B. And create a hook shot target. And that lets you shortcut from those stairs. Yeah, this is the main room. And... I want to see what's the best way to go about doing this. There's like that ice keys up there. So... Oh, come on! <laughs> well, at least you're able to collect arrows if you walk to them fast enough or touch them, you know, while you're near them. Uh, I'm able to shoot you, right? Well, I can, but it's not going to do anything. <laughs> Uh, I guess I just gotta get across there. Well, not not get across there just yet, actually, because there's something... Okay, maybe I have to take care of him first. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing I made a shortcut here. And you know, I should actually use the ball and chain on him. Ah, he just fell off the ledge! <laughs> well, that works. Killed himself, poor guy. <laughs> and whoop. All right, let's get this moving. Oh wait, I screwed up the timing of it, didn't I? Oh no 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 no! 
How did I miss one? I didn't see that one there before. Okay, wait for it to stop moving. At least this one. Hit that one. Come on, man! <laughs> oh, I sh as long as I'm here, I might as well show you. This is the door that I was talking about that led to the heart piece. Well, I should say the room to the heart piece. I figured, ah, I might as well show it on the walkthrough guy. See what I mean? How you can't cross here no matter what. Yeah. So that was all on purpose, just to, you know, come back here and show you exactly, you know, where that door was and... Wait, why don't you believe me? <sighs> Fine, be that way. <laughs> oh, no, it's back. Probably because I reset the room. Alright, I'm gonna murder you with this fallen chain. No! <laughs> this is getting to be as bad as that run-down room. You know the one with that bottomless pit with all those little support beams you have to stay on? You know what? I got I got an idea here. Bow and arrow bomb combo. There we go. <laughs> If all else fails, make it explode. <laughs> um, you know what? I don't, I don't I need anything else besides that. So I can live with that open space in my inventory. <sighs> That's right, I reset the keys. Oh, I see where I missed one. Okay. This is turning into another disaster part. <laughs> Oh, come on! Are you serious? You could have grabbed onto that, and you know it. <sighs> yes, I do have to go over there, in case you're wondering. Because there's that treasure chest there, and it's got something good. <sighs> and I completely flubbed my jump that time. Wow! This is horrendous! <laughs> I think I'm just rush. Yeah, I think I'm just rushing now is the issue. Alright, PK Gam. Focus on the task at hand. One chandelier at a time. What are these chandeliers anyway? I mean, who builds a chandelier that's like this? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna wait for it to fully stop moving so I don't mess with the jump. Well, you know, slow down to a point where it's not too far off center. Now this one over here, I'm just unsure how to go about doing this. Because I want it to come towards me while I'm swinging towards this side like that. There we go. So I guess trying to throw the ball and chain when you are moving away from that chandelier. This contains another heart piece. Woohoo! And that's why you want to come up here. <laughs> so much trouble, and I still have to go back up one more chandelier. I mean, back across one more chandelier, because I gotta get back over to that door. Alright, no more falling. No more falling, dear God. <laughs> no more getting knocked off either, that's gotta go. Alright, so we are here, and wow, this is a beautiful room. Looks pretty dangerous, though. And I'm pretty sure I can kill these mini Freezars in one hit if I attack them. Yeah. With the ball and chain, I intend on doing so because I am far enough away that I can safely do so without them swarming all over me. With all those other ones, I need to get a little closer to because they're not out, now out of my range. I just don't want them to all come towards me at once. That would be, be kind of bad there. <laughs> Divide and conquer is my strategy here. Mm -hmm. Come on. I just don't want them to see me. Because it seems like when one sees you, they all come for you then. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't really matter at that point, given that there was only two, but still. 
Okay, there's some ice over here. Destroy that, and you will find a pole. And that is the last one of the dungeon. And I also got the last heart piece of the dungeon as well. This is, is going to be a little trickier because we're on ice now. Or maybe not. <laughs> I say something's going to be tricky, and it turns out to be incredibly easy. Awesome sauce. Back to a human. Need thumbs to open the, uh -oh, the door. I will kill these guys, why not? Alright, there you are. Oh! Guess you can't swing directly above you, even when Z-targeting. <laughs> hey, wait. Wait, what? Who? Uh, there's a key door over there, but... Hmm. I guess the key I'm looking for is out here. And this takes us to... Wait, what is this room? Oh, the block sliding room. Okay. So that means I gotta get this block on the lower level now. Good. But... Oh, that's right, this middle switch opens that door. My bad. Uh, wait. I just, I just want to make sure that I can get back up here whenever I want to. I think getting that box unfrozen... I don't mean melted, I mean unfrozen, because clearly ice is not going to melt in this environment. <laughs> so now we have four boxes to work with. To get a box onto this switch in the middle of the room. This is a 5x5 five five square, if you didn't know that. So that means... You can do something like this. You want... <laughs> just skipped over the button. What you want to do is get... Get yourself a... A block formation... Well, not formation. You want to get them all down the center line here. Because you want to stack them above each other like so. And now... You take this block... Oh, this... Oh, the block that I pushed down here is a shortcut block. Okay, that makes sense. So I can get back up here easily. I thought, I thought I'd have to use like one of the blocks, you know, like jump on top of one of them. And then jump onto the crates. Alright, no. You'll notice that I took the block that was behind the other block. Because the other block that is in place is in the correct place. In order to stop that block on the switch and open the door. Voila! And that is how it is done. And if you want to, you could uh, do this as well. Just to get this, get the other door open. Because, you know, you had to use the other block that was on top of the switch in order to solve this puzzle. So, don't just make this ahead of time. There we go, and that'll open that door again. So now you have both doors open. Very handy to have that. And let's climb back out. Can't do that, can I? Wait, where do I... I'll shot something. Seriously, what? Oh, you, you can grab onto this one, but not the other one, apparently? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's because it's under the ledge, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. Oh, oops. Let's see what's in the barrels for the fun of it. I like to destroy the house. Blue rupees are worth five. Just in case you didn't know that at this point in the game. I still can't believe that they, they tell you that all throughout the entire game. Uh, I think I'm going to end off this part here and go through that door in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.